I was not someone who ever joined in with the No Man's Sky hype. I'm not trying to sound like a Captain Hindsight contrarian or anything either, I genuinely did not understand why the hell people were so obsessed with the reveal trailers and gameplay snippets. I mean, yeah, you can explore procedurally generated planets, scan wildlife, collect materials and fight robots. Okay, well Minecraft lets you do a ton more than that, and just because there's so many millions and billions of combinations of things to be shoved together in individual planets doesn't mean anything really. It's an impressive number for sure, but why does that automatically mean the game will be a masterpiece worth pushing on mainstream TV coverage. Basically, I was intrigued, but I wasn't sold. And when the game finally released and I played it for a good few hours, holy shit, it did not do anything else other than what the trailers showed off. During the hype phase, I was asking, okay, this is cool, but what do I do in this game? And then when the game finally came out and I played it, I was asking, okay, this is cool, but what do I do in this game? You may notice me using the past tense a lot in this video, and that's because I hear that nowadays the game isn't too bad with all the constant updates actually adding to the core of the game with brand new story features, vehicles, quests, and stuff. But screw that noise, I'm talking about the game I spent £44.99 on when it first released. Not what it was supposed to be or not what Hello Games felt obliged to code in months and months after the original release due to negative feedback. And my god, if you think that Micro Machines World Series is devoid of anything for the price, check this out. You walk around to collect materials to fly away to another planet in order for you to collect materials to fly away to another planet to get closer to the centre of the universe, after which you watch a magical little cutscene where you zoom past all the planets you ever went to on your journey and immediately get thrown back to the beginning of the game again. This takes dozens upon dozens of hours, by the way. How the absolute Christing hell anyone thought this was engaging enough to warrant a full-on AAA retail price is beyond me, when the original released game is no more than an interesting experiment in seamless space travel. And you know what? If that's what you were looking for two years ago, then it would impress you for maybe a few minutes. I mean, I was impressed with taking off and landing on my first few planets. It feels extremely real, and I do love the visual design and art style, but then you realise, oh shit, there's how many other quintillion amounts of planets that have you doing the exact same thing over and over again and suddenly all the hype in numbers and sizes means nothing anymore. The repetition of Vanilla No Man's Sky was the biggest knife that murdered it for me and it wasn't only repetition in the gameplay. You see the same alien settlements, the same space station, same robots, no matter how many tens of thousands of miles you travel and all that really changes is the weather, colours of planets, type of wildlife that contributes nothing to gameplay and the types of materials to harvest. The rest of the game is exactly the same. No Man's Sky you say? Well it seems as though there's people in the sky everywhere I go. No person has ever been here before, eh? What about them? Even worse, some of the more interesting side quests involve talking to creatures in other alien languages, but the only way you can understand them is by randomly walking around and deciphering alien words with these bricks one random word at a time for a random alien race! No Man's Sky, more like No Man Cares. I'm sure it's an alright game nowadays with the next update and everything, and that's why this game isn't any higher up the list, but this was all stuff we expected from the beginning. Do I even need to mention the amount of vague hinting and vague promises lofted by Sean Murray that all eventually turned out to not be true or were outright broken, like when those two people met each other on the same planet via the online feature but weren't actually in the same area, and he jumped on Twitter and said it was an amazing achievement? What? This? That something that we were expecting in the first place to happen clearly didn't work because you never expected it to work in the first place so didn't bother adding it into the game? Hello games, stick to Joe Danger. Clearly this was a bit too much for you. <laughs> Do you feel like you need to wash your brain out after seeing some truly awful video games? But well, then how about go to the description below to chrono.gg forward slash caddy where you can get a really good Steam game on the site every single day for a ridiculously cheap price. Be quick though, the offer only lasts a day and then it will change tomorrow.